Happy holidays, I'm JC at Motorcycle Superstore and welcome to our tools under $50 holiday gift guide. Sometimes all you really want is the right tool for the right job. And this is going to give you an idea of some of the things that are available. Now, if you're not seeing the products that you're most interested, keep in mind we have a full gift guide that's going to list out more products than just this and they will all be in the same category, all tools under $50. So they're very easy to get and give and also they're very nice to receive. I like to fancy myself as someone who enjoys his time in the shop. I wish I was a little handier with the steel, but if you have the right kind of tools, you can definitely get more jobs done on your own. So let's break into them right now and take a look at what's available. Starting off with some multi-tools. These are great gifts for people when you don't have to be real specific on those items. Maybe you don't know exactly what bikes they have or what exactly they need to take with them. These types of gifts are going to give you those opportunities that are spread out over a wider variety. So we'll start it off right here with this one. Everybody needs a good T-handle. This is by Fly Racing, this is their service T-handle, and the nice thing about it, it uses a 3 8 drive, and all of your sockets are here attached to it. It's not lightweight, it's not particularly small, so it's not something that you might carry with you a whole lot, but it's great to have in the shop. I have one of these in my shop at home, actually, and it uses the 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 17 millimeter sockets and a Phillips head screwdriver, a number two size. Very easy to have on hand, very handy, and like, it's, like I mentioned, the T-handles are great. It really speeds up that action in the shop. This tool is very interesting. This is the Baron Custom Accessories Adjustable Wrench. It's available either in standard SAE sizes or as a metric configuration. But what I really like about this, one, is that it folds up very easily. This is the type of product you would carry with you on the bike. And also, it locks into place with a sliding mechanism so you're not gonna have it fold in half and pinch your fingers. The nice thing about it really though is that it is an adjustable wrench style. So it uses these tiny little 16th inch adapters and you slip one into place then you can slip a second into place and continually tighten down the size of your wrench. You're going to find it on both sides, so there's really a lot of adjustability here. And because it is a solid metal insert, you don't have to worry about that adjustment where you're sliding it with your thumb and it creates a little bit of slop. This should be a hard, solid mount no matter what type of fastener you're working with. Another thing that's great about this product, it comes with its own carrying case. Like we mentioned, it's something you'll be uh, taking with you on the bike. You could put it on your belt potentially, but more likely you're just going to toss it in a saddlebag or in a fanny pack. Up on top of the box here, I have one more product. This is from Bike Master. This is their multi-tool with sockets. Handy little thing, like we mentioned, on the bike, similar to this product, it's gonna go with you wherever you go. Lots of hex or, or uh, Allen wrenches here that are gonna give you some access to those types of fasteners, but it also uses an eight, nine, and 10 millimeter socket, and that uses a quarter inch drive. If you'd like to carry other sockets with you, just take some more with you that make sure they're quarter inch, and that's gonna work. It does have the ball retainer on it, so the sockets won't fly off. Standard screwdrivers, uh, a flathead, and a Phillips, and then you have some open end wrenches on the side as well. This all folds up, it's very compact, and then you stash it away and take it with you. Very easy, very inexpensive, and it's something that could actually save you out on the road. This product has a little bit more going on. This one is from Cruise Tools. This is their Econo Kit Standard Metric Toolkit. It's very handy to have on hand because it has a wide variety of things going on. Adjustable wrench, you have open-end wrenches as well that are in metric configurations. Also, some wire, zip ties, spark plug wrench. This is very, very basic. However, because it has this screwdriver attachment, you can take some different bits with you if you'd like to. Very handy to have, it does come with a rag inside and it zips up into this handy little carrying case. One of the best things about these carrying cases is that if it doesn't have exactly what you want or what the person you're getting it for wants, they can always throw more tools inside because it has a little extra room. So it makes it very handy to customize to your own tastes and your own needs. Okay, those are the generics. Now let's talk about some more specific products. These are going to be certain tools for certain projects. I'm going to start it off with some items from Motion Pro. They make all kinds of specialty tools. First and foremost, their hydraulic brake bleeder. If you're doing a brake job, it's very difficult to get through that at times because you're sitting there going to go and try to pump the brakes and then release it. It's kind of a two-person job. This makes it a one-person job. It's essentially a one-way valve. So fluid will be pushed out one direction. It will not allow air to get sucked back in. So you don't have to reach down and loosen and tighten every time on your brake caliper. Very handy to have. It's inexpensive. And it's really going to make things easier for you in the shop. Another Motion Pro tool, this one is designed mostly to be out with you on the trail. This is their chain breaker. If you're having problems with the chain, if you need to splice something in, you're going to need to get it apart to begin with. So this is very straightforward. Uh, it does a foldable and collapsible design. It only reaches to about four inches in length, so it's very easy to throw in your trail pack with you. This is going to be something that's great at breaking the chains. It's not necessarily designed to put them back together a whole lot. Motion Pro makes a bunch of products that are more comprehensive, but this is the light duty emergency style kit. 
It uses the body, the body bolt here, and then this is your pin bolt. It drives the pins out of your chain, and it allows you to separate those and then repair them. Very handy to have on hand. Uh, I definitely have one of those in my toolbox because they're critical. This is something I actually hadn't seen before. This is from Motion Pro as well, and I like it a lot. This is their adjustable torque wrench adapter. We all have torque wrenches, or we should, because if you're not tightening things to the proper specs on your bike, you're gonna get into trouble. I just did it with my steering stem nut, and I screwed myself up. I had to redo all the work I had just done. So something like this is going to allow you to use your torque wrench in more positions. Your torque wrench is very large and bulky, but, that makes it difficult to get in there and try to tighten down certain things. So what this does is it allows you to attach your torque wrench. This is a standard wrench, but just bear with me here. A 3 8 drive, it's rated for up to 90 pounds of torque. And once you attach it, you can then use open in or box in wrenches. It's also available to use with certain size of Allen wrenches as well. You can really get a lot more versatility out of your torque wrench because now you're dealing with a very small piece here that's gonna slip into tighter places on your motorcycle. A fantastic idea. I can't believe I don't have one. I probably will after this Christmas season. Another thing from Motion Pro, this is their cable luber. This is important to keep your cables in utmost performance. This goes for brake cables, throttle cables, whatever. They get gummed up. They need to be lubricated and trying to do it with any other tool is basically a waste of time. Now, the nice thing about the Motion Pro variety is it uses two set screws. I have a Bike Master version, which works just fine, but I do like this one better because it has dual screws. Mine only has a single, so this really gets you a better amount of pressure. It's gonna help keep the fluid going where it needs to go. You clamp this onto the end of your cable, you inject a, a either WD-40 or a special cable lubricant, and then you spray it down in the cable. It works fantastic. Only a few bucks, and it's gonna keep your bike feeling a lot fresher than it does over time. Those things tend to wear out. Here we go, another product from Bike Master. Simple, hardcore, heavy duty material. This is gonna be your hex tool. And what it does is it basically removes, particularly front axles, those are a really handy spot to have this. So you can actually use a 3 8 inch drive. It's a 17, 19, 22, and 24 millimeter. Uh, if you wanna insert this half, you would actually just use a 17 millimeter socket over here and you're able to use your wrench with it. Super handy to have, it's light, uh, it's pretty easy to throw inside of your pack if you'd like to or keep it at home in your garage. This is one that every off-road racer should have. A specialty item designed for your grips, your motocross style grips, and you're going to safety wire those. If you're not safety wiring your grips currently, you ought to think about it. It gives you that extra level of coverage, keeps them from coming off, makes them last longer. But this is from Bike Master. This is their safety wire pliers. It uses this helix at the bottom so that you're able to very easily spin the wire. One of the other nice things about it is that it actually comes with 25 feet of stainless wire, so you don't have to purchase that separately. It makes it a great gift to give because everything's included. But basically, you wrap the wire around your grips, you clamp the end, it has a sliding mechanism that locks it into place. You gotta give it a good squeeze there. And then, once it's attached to the wire, you pull down on the helix, it uses a ball bearing, and the pliers will spin. And that creates a twisting mechanism so you're not manually doing it a thousand times on those little tiny pieces of wire. Very handy to have. Uh, definitely something that's gonna make the job speed up and be a lot more smooth and streamlined. That does it. If you don't like what you see, like I mentioned, check out the full guide. You'll see some other options there. Also, if you're still not that impressed, we have gift cards available. Those are a wonderful thing to give this time of year. People can pick out whatever tools they would like to pick up for themselves. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me some feedback on this. Let me know if the tools are working out for you. And have a happy holiday season. Thank you for shopping at Motorcycle Superstore.